Metsuru. Metsuru is not about. Akihito's about. On the roof. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't body shame the fat kid on the roof. Basically, walk back with Akihito. Or I think that's it. We'll walk back with Akihito. We could try the student council. Mr. Ono is in the faculty office. I've been waiting for you. Okay, not really. I looked and looked, but there's nothing at my house that's not related to Masamune. This didn't belong to Masamune personally, but it still has ties to him, so... Do you really need this? Maybe you've reconsidered? Not that I'm reluctant at all to give it to you, you understand? So I'll give it to you, but... Uh, take good of it, right? It'll become a family heirloom. We got the helm. This is the second time I've given my helm to a student after all. That Bebe, do you know him? He's an exchange group student in my class. Back in the spring, when he first came here, he admired it so much that I let him have it. It does my heart good to see the men of the samurai spirit, even those from a foreign country. It must be because the lives of the Sengoku generals still shine brightly across history. Masamuni Dati, for example. I forgot that I had to pick up the helmet off him. Sorry, Mr. Ono. You'll still be wearing the helmet, though. Um... But in that case... We can go and turn that in, right? We can go to uh, Bolomina. And go to the Velvet Room. Go see Theodore. I see, so this is the helm from the ancient Sengoku era. Got a Nihai maid. I think. Well, that's a maid costume. <laughs> oh, God. All of these are... Deadline today. Food fit for a wolf. I missed that massively. Ugh, so bad at this. So bad at this. Um, I go in the other faculty office. We've basically got hang out with Akihiko. Is it worth wasting my time with the goddamn student council? Because I beefed that social link up so bad. It's only rank three. But Akihiko's only rank one. Like, is it really worth it? <laughs> Ryoji, I'm supposed to be max on Ryoji. I've just beefed it. The 
big reveals coming soon. Um, where was Akihiko? Naganaki Shrine, he joined Akihiko on his training and ran here with him. Let's take a short break. The area near the shrine is quiet, no one else is around, the wind's starting to pick up. It's actually a blessing after working up a good sweat, it feels nice. I usually train in the club room or alone in my own room at the dorm. Ah, uh, I guess why you out here, but I'll trade you if you want. It'd be nice to have a running partner, but if you join me, we're going to do more than just run every day, okay? In any case, I should have changed into my workout gear. I thought this would just be a light run for fun, but I'm drenched in sweat. Uh, don't catch a cold. This is nothing. I'll be fine. <laughs> and then he sneezed. I said I'll be fine. He's embarrassed. Hey, want to try that before we head back? Akihiko points at the horizontal bar. You can't do a back hip circle, can you? Uh, I, yes, I can. I don't think I can. Oh, that's amazing. You'll have to show me sometime. When you're not wearing a skirt, that is. Akihiko seems a little embarrassed. Can you at least sit up here? Here. Akihiko helps pull you up to get a seat on the bar. It's a little scary because you're finding it hard to balance on it. I fell off a balance bar once at the local park. And I had a Hitler moustache for about uh, <laughs> three weeks of just scab because I took all the skin off my lip. It's a little scary because you're finding it hard to balance on it. This takes me back. It reminds me of when I was a kid. Of you and Shinji, eh? Akihiko falls silent and looks off into the distance. I need to get stronger. If I don't get stronger, I won't be able to save anything. Akihiko mutters as if to himself. I feel like you understand Akihiko a little better now. Yeah. <laughs> what was that star oh dude I'm supposed to have maxed this yeah I'm supposed to have maxed magician priestess emperor devil tower star moon and sun whoops we should get going are you sweating today too make sure you take a bath today so you don't catch cold You and Akihiko return to the door together. The dormitory lounge, huh? Amidst your friends, you see Ryoji. Oh, welcome back. You're late. Ryoji-kun was just leaving. Hi. Hey, been studying? You know, I'm here a lot, but I hardly ever run into you. Strange, huh? It is strange. I'm sorry, but I gotta get going. I'll come see you again. See you later, Ryoji. I just came down was the hall. Was that Ryoji-san? Yeah, he said he was going home. What was he doing here? He's been coming here a lot ever since he started hanging around with Junpei. But visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Mitsuro-senpai said it's okay during the day. The my killer in the jig doesn't like him, though. I don't think we need to worry about Ryoji-kun. Oh, Fuku, you fool. He's... dangerous. Who? Ryoji-kun? Come to think of it, he was hitting on Mitsuru-senpai the first time he met her. He hit on everyone. <laughs> but having him around has really cheered up Junpei-kun. Oh, my throat. Well, it's not like moping around is going to bring her back. That's true. <laughs> What's the matter, Aichan? I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine, so I cannot understand how it feels to live. But you don't seem that different. However, it is more accurate to say that I am functioning as opposed to living. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. So if we were all like you, we wouldn't have to worry about dying. Uh, uh sorry. Hey, I don't have time to talk. I seriously gotta go study. Hey, shouldn't you guys be studying too? I heard math's gonna be a killer. 
You wait until now to tell us that? Well, I guess we should call it a night then. Your friends have gone back to their rooms. I should not possess the gift of life. A living weapon is difficult to operate. However, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Us. Should you ever be harmed, I... Don't worry I'll about me. I'll try not to. You are very special to me. I do not know why, but I always want to be by your side. I want to protect you. I apologize for interrupting you. I will leave you to your studies. Good night. Ryoji Mojisuki is dangerous. What is this uneasiness? I am a machine. I cannot die, so they won't have to grieve for me. I must do something. I don't want them to suffer anymore. Hey, Ken. I just san doesn't seem to like Ryoji san. I agree that he's a bit strange, but I think he's okay. Yeah, I did beef it. I thought I'd beefed it. Oh, he kind of knew. Is it really two minutes to bloody? It is. I thought we'd beefed it. We said we'd beefed it. Ryoji san is dangerous. I'm certain of it. Things are fine for now, but one day that will change. Please do not worry, though. I will be there to protect you. Woof. He looks worried. I will be fine, Koromaru-san. Junpei seems to be studying. We shouldn't bother him. Well, then we should just go to our room then and uh, rest up. Uh, pay attention to that marker there because it's uh, getting full. Yeah, we beefed it and I'm sorry. Your condition improved because you rested. It's finally time for lunch. Oh, that class was so boring, don't you think? Hey, are you free after school? Uh, yeah? Then let's go somewhere if you have the time. I almost forgot. I was going to the office. See you later. Seems like Yukari doesn't have much to do after school. Maybe you should spend some time with her. Oh, it's the 1st of December, kids. What a coincidence. Well, since you're here, I'd like to ask if you're free after school. I think I'm free. I'd like for you to come with me somewhere. That is, if you're available, just let me know. <laughs> Mitsuri wants to hang out with us. Lunch break is almost over and you decide to return to your classroom. Class has ended for today. So we can hang out with Mitsuri, we can hang out with Yukari. <laughs> uh, can we hang out with Fuka? Yeah, we beefed it, and I, I'm sorry we beefed it. But at the same time, eh, we were always going to beef it, kids. There's Mitsuru, she wants to hang out. Fuka not about. Today's strip mall, Takayaki stand up Topia. Interesting, so Takayaki doesn't consist of an entire octopus, only a small portion. Well, that makes sense. An entire octopus would be too much food for one person. Sometimes I'm amazed at my ignorance of the world. Masuru seems dejected. Uh, shall we say I'll treat you? I've, we've beefed so much. Who do you think I am? Please, allow me to treat you. What? They don't accept credit cards? 
Mitsuru seems even more dejected. Uh, anyways, let's eat. Yeah, you're right. I'll have one takoyaki, please. What? Takoyaki isn't sold in individual pieces, so I could buy a dozen at this price? Mitsuru seems amazed at the low price. Mitsuru is enjoying her takoyaki. So, it's filled with diced octopus inside. Interesting. It tastes slightly sour. Are there any other ingredients in addition to the octopus? Well, whatever they may be, they taste absolutely delicious. C'est très bon. C'est très bon. Mitsuru has discovered how delicious takoyaki tastes. I feel that you understand her better now. Too late to max it. It's way too late in the game now, kids. Mitsuru Kirijo's social link has reached level 3. Your power to create personas of the Empress Arcana has grown. That reminds me of what Akihiko was talking about when we walked past here. Don't you think Akihiko has been acting differently lately? I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I've known him for such a long time. Perhaps he's just maturing. Uh, does that make you happy, I guess? Of course that makes me happy. With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over our past. However, Akihiko is trying to learn from his experiences. I'm very impressed by him. Mitsuru seems happy. When I look at Akihiko, I'm reminded of so many things about myself. I can't explain why, though. I think you're lonely. As graduation day approaches, I do find myself feeling sad from time to time. You may not understand because you're only a junior. Mitsuru is forcing a smile. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry for subjecting you to my incoherent ramblings. Please forget what I just said. Uh, I'm behind you 100%? Huh? What do you mean? Mitsuru seems puzzled. Okay, not that then. Okay, I will. Thank you. Mitsuru seems relieved. The takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should eat here again sometime. After saying goodbye to Mitsuru, he decided to return to the dorm. Didn't know what else to do. I beefed it. Up, dude? Tomorrow's a full moon, but we don't have any shadows to kill. Man, this sucks. That reminds me, Ryoji didn't seem like his usual self today. It looked like he was about to start crying. Maybe he's been studying too much. Nah, that can't be it. Anyway... Dude, I was surprised Ai-chan said that. Do you think I influenced her somehow? You try and hang out with Ken, I guess. I just is over here. Um, I will make sure you're safe. So, um, please do your best on your exams. I just is broken. I guess we'll hang out with uh, Ken. I don't know what else to do. I've beefed so much. Uh, Iwata Dai Strip Mall Wakatsu Restaurant. Ken ordered a ginger pork meal, but he doesn't seem to be eating much. Uh. <laughs> As always. You gonna eat that? Uh, uh, no, no, you can't. Ken begins eating hurriedly. That's how I get my dog to eat. I had some snacks a little while ago. Is it true that you won't get big and strong if you don't eat right? Ah, uh, it's true. Uh, I see, then I eat all of this too. Ken tries hard to eat the food in front of him. Would something have happened to him? Uh, why do you want to be bigger? Why? Because I'm small. Ken seems a little embarrassed. Uh, it'd be nice if I could be like Akihiko-san. Um, us? You prefer someone like Akihiko-san too, right? Uh, I don't know about that. Ken keeps glancing in your direction. I want to hurry and become an adult. Ken has a serious look on his face. There must be something on Ken's mind. You feel like you understand Ken a little better now. He's a kid. But he hangs out with, you know, seniors. Ken at Mada Social Link has reached level 4. Too late. Your power to create personas of the Justice Arcana has grown. Oh, you can't eat any more. If you get any bigger, I won't be able to catch up to you. Ken continues wolfing down his rice. You finished your dinner with Ken and returned to the dorm together. I didn't know what else to do. I beefed it, kids. I, I, I fucked it. Good morning. I intend to do my best to protect everyone. Uh. Oh dear. <laughs> Things are happening. Uh, 
Is something wrong? No, please do not worry. I just wanted to share my feelings. Uh, what about I'm counting on you? Let's let's see if that says anything. Understood. No, she's sad. She's sad for a reason, kids. Unfortunately, uh, we beefed it. We really did beef it. We beefed it big time. At this point... Dude, I just, just flew out the door today. Ryoji's gone too. Weird, huh? Yeah, well, if you can't put the pieces together, then that's your problem, not mine, friend. I know uh, I got what's her face killed, but what do we do on Wednesdays? I don't know what we do on Wednesdays. Go home drunk, you're Alex. Did I just do the same one twice? Akihiko maybe? Mitsuru? No one's about. I think I've beefed it, kids. It does happen. What do we do on Wednesdays? We can do the student council, I guess. I don't really see the point. I don't remember where the student council is. That's the nurse's office. Is it this one? I don't remember where it is. Good God, man. Have we met? Home ec room? Science room, lab, art room, library's there, I think. Hmm. Well, that's where Junpei is. Has that been our classroom the entire time? E. I thought it was this one. That's the PA room. We could get the Gecko Kron boogie. It's a request. I'm going to attend the student council because I don't know what else to do. <coughs> you work with the members of the student council. The hours fly by as you work on the tasks. Is it a Gary but absent today? Uh, no, I think he's busy. Busy doing what? Busy playing private dick. Oh, you mean what Fushimi was telling me about earlier? I see. I can't remember these characters. That was months ago for me. His intentions are good, so you can't really blame him, but I understand how you feel. You can go if you like. I don't mind. Sorry for all the drama. I decide to leave the student council room. Gecko in high school, first floor hallway, you can hear someone yelling. So where's your evidence, smart guy? There's no need for evidence. I know all about you. You were arrested for beating up a guy in the park who snitched on you, right? Hidetoshi approached the student. Well, he's at it again. That's the third person today he's accused. My boyfriend was so pissed he was accused too. This guy's asking for it. The students around are only watching. Keeping quiet will do you no good. If it's not you, then give me some names. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. I can't even remember what it was about. Smoking in the bathroom, right? Shut up, asshole. It looks like the punk is going to hit Hidetoshi. Let's intervene. The punk punched Hidetoshi before you were able to stop him. The punk walked away. Huh, don't think I'll just let that go. Ah, us. You look like you want to say something. Uh. I want to say, uh, working hard, huh? Of course. 
If Hitoshi seems satisfied, if they let people get away with breaking the rules, things will only get worse. One day, it'll spiral out of control, and there will be nothing we can do. So we should deal with the problem now while we still can. Well, we can't. I've run out of time. I know what people think of me. But those who carry out justice have always clashed with others. History has proven this to be true. So let this serve as a warning to other offenders. You're a sensible person. You understand, right? You sense that Hidotoshi is beginning to trust you. Your relationship is stronger now. No one remembers who he is. Apparently we got it to rank four, though. Woof. Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna get back to business. You should go home before it gets dark. <sighs> Hi, how is your day? Not great. Tonight is the full moon, but we won't be conducting an operation. Maybe I should summon Juno though, just in case. By the way, have you seen Aegis? No, I haven't. Aegis has been returning late these days. She never used to. I wonder what happened. See, it's the full moon, right? But we won, right? Does. Yeah. Ryoji asked Mitsuru out. Oh, <laughs> surprised he's still alive. Um. Well, I just is pretty cut and dry, to be honest. Uh, is she up here? Or is she even further up? It's the full moon, but we won, so it doesn't matter anymore, right? Let's go to my room. And let's go to bed early. Meanwhile, at the Moonlight Bridge. It is the dark hour and a figure on the bridge looks up at the moon. Another figure approaches it. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Hmm. He shouldn't be up and about during the dark hour. Something terrible has happened here. And yet I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you, you've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are... My enemy. Your enemy? Enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. It was long ago. Yes. We met once before. As adversaries. Oh dear. Who am I? Who are you? I am Igis. The last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows? And you, your true name is Death. <gasps> you are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. No. Yes, it was ten years ago. The night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. It is for that reason that I was given a personality and a persona. I am the 13th Arcana. I was never meant to be. Everyone called me death. But when I was born, a part of my power <coughs> shattered and was strewn about. As a result, I was incomplete. 
Even so, you were far stronger than I anticipated. Ah, excuse me. Since I could not defeat you, my only option was to seal you away. Under the circumstances, there was only one suitable vessel. A human girl who happened to be nearby. I had no other choice. <gasps> That's us. I see. I was inside her all this time. And I unwittingly led her to my 12 missing pieces. <gasps> and then... I see. I understand now. I remember everything. Who and what I am. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. That is the purpose of my existence. It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. Palladian! Don't be foolish, I guess. I'm different than before. There's no way you can win. I'm sorry. I guess it's not back without setting a finger on Ryoji. I guess his chassis was heavily damaged from being slammed to the ground with such force. I'm sorry. This mission appears impossible. A machine that cannot fulfill its purpose has no worth. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 